Okay, I'm gonna make a video on GOES satellite receiving. Uh, my particular antenna here is pointed to GOES 16 East at 75.2 West, and that's the name of the satellite. And this is a Premier Tech antenna. It's a 2.4 gigahertz antenna. I bought it from Amazon, and basically what you do is you just put this guy on upside down to where it's sticking out, and then you can get in the 1.7 range. Uh, one of the things that I noticed about this was that for positioning it initially, you go to a website called dishpointer.com, and I don't want to get too close because I think standing behind it with the phone and the compass killed it a little while ago, but you need a real compass to aim a satellite dish. It's just not going to work with your iPhone app. It's too far off. Uh, the next thing I want to note is I use a low noise amplifier from New Elec or No Elec or however the heck they say that. And the antenna end goes to the end where the USB connector is at. That goes directly into the antenna. Typically with a low noise amplifier, you'd want to put that low noise amplifier right there, right at the end of the antenna. For some reason, the results I get are mixed. I don't get as good a reception when I do that. So I'm doing it a different way. The other end near where the LED light is at down by my thumb here is where you pump the bias T voltage in from your software defined radio. So I have another one of these new elect low noise amplifiers, but I have it underneath here just to kind of keep it a little more protected. I have it wrapped up in uh, exterior antenna tape so it doesn't get wet. It survived Hurricane Dorian. So it must be okay. So that's my rig right there. I also have some RG8, all this coax is RG8 that I bought at Walmart. And there's my dog, Coco. And I pumped this into a Raspberry Pi 4 with an RTL SDR version three. And I'm running it headless with a program called Goes Tools. And that RTL SDR is pretty old, all the writings about worn off of it. I've used it for a million things. So let's take a walk into the other room where I actually am pulling this down because the Raspberry Pi is headless. You have to control it from another computer. And that's what I'm doing. I'm controlling it from a Linux machine here, uh, Ubuntu. And you can see my VITT average is 312 309 uh yesterday it was down in the 250s i don't know why it went up who knows maybe heat humidity uh, a little moisture who knows what's going on there but if i put that low noise amplifier right up to the end male connector right at the end of the antenna these numbers are like 450 and 500 so i get better results just by running in the coax that's my experience probably won't be your experience and here it is counting this is downloading and it shows that there have been some drops uh it dropped a little while ago it fell off a little while ago because i was holding the phone the compass behind the antenna and something probably happened so now let's open this program filezilla and here's my latest uh download here let's hit the view and edit this is, I'm, I'm into the uh, folder, and there's the image right there. So, antenna to low noise amplifier to Raspberry Pi, uh, running on a Wi-Fi, and controlled via SSH on another computer using Ubuntu and FileZilla, and you can get to all your images. Pretty cool.